Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. We're going to continue today coloring the page that we were coloring in my previous video in Joanna Basford's World of Flowers. I had colored this page and we just did this one flower so far. If you have not already seen that video, I'll make sure that I link that for you in the upper right hand corner so that you can go back and watch that one if you would like to. If you enjoy videos like these, please do make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also turn your bell notifications on so that you always know when I post new content. And as always, if you enjoy this video and you really love this tutorial, please do make sure that you give my video a thumbs up because it really helps my channel out a lot. Let's go ahead and get into the coloring of this flower. For this flower, I wanted to put something together that was going to be quite different from the other flower you already colored on the page. And so I've got a few colors here. Let me go ahead and show you the colors I've chosen. I tried to go with some colors that I don't generally use or something that you've not necessarily seen on my channel before. So let's talk about the colors that we have pulled out so far. And as always, I may go pull more colors and add more to it. But for right now, this is what I have. I'm thinking that I may have to go back and get a darker purple even beyond this one. But this is the color that I have right now. This, um, what is it? Parma Violet PC1008. And this is the one that I'm choosing to use right now to be able to, to um, do my shadows and create more depth in the flower. And then I have Lilac, which is PC956. And then we have Light Cerulean Blue, and it is PC904. And then we've got our Powder Blue for our highlights. I think that this blue is going to be light enough for the look that I'm trying to accomplish. If not, I will possibly bring in my trusty white Prismacolor because you guys know I use that one very often. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. And I don't really have an idea yet for what it's going to look like, but we're going to start and see where we go with it. If you look at the page, you can see that I have a flower just like this one. Um, here and again over here up in this corner or to the side of this wreath. So I want those flowers to all kind of be similar to one another but I still want to bring some of the colors that I used over here in this flower over to this side of the page and kind of make sure that it is very balanced and I'll probably be able to do that with the leaves. Let's go ahead and start with the Parma Violet. And I am going to do the Parma Violet, I think, just down here towards the bottom in each one of these. And I'm going to pull it through a little bit more in some places and then not so much in others. Now that I'm looking at this, I think I am going to grab another darker purple. And I'm just doing a little bit of this on each one of these. To me, this is one of the more difficult flowers for me to color. I'm definitely going to bring in a darker color now that I'm looking at this. And we'll see where we get with the blues. I'm going to bring this one a little bit higher up into the petals so that way when I come back with the darker and the lighter colors I'll have a place to lay those so that they just kind of blend. So let's come in now. That was our darkest purple and I think I might actually use that one as my purple maybe. Well let me see if I could let me add a little bit of this lilac and kind of pull this up through here because this is a really gorgeous color. I don't want to add too much of this though. And you want to be able to leave a little bit of room to be able to come back and add your blues. So you're just kind of pulling this out. 
And these colors are so close to each other that we definitely need to get a darker purple so that we could really see that depth when we create the shadows. Now I'm going to come in with my light cerulean blue and I am going to add some of this in here. Look, now you're starting to see the beautiful combination that this makes. Look how pretty. I love once you lay down the other alternate color that is not in the same color family like how I just added two purples but then I came back and I added the blue and it's like all of a sudden wow <laughs> I'm just kind of going over the darker colors and then pulling it through with this blue. So it's time to come back with our powder blue. And we are just going to top off each one of these petals now with our lightest blue. Pull all the colors in together though when you do this because this is going to be your highlight color. And so this is the color that you want to go and use to be able to burnish some of these other colors together. And if you can see this, I'm not going all the way to the top. I am leaving a little bit of white there on every one of the petals. And of course I may change my mind and come back and color that in later, but for right now I'm leaving some white because I want to see how that's going to look. Oh, this one I never even colored. Let me come back with my darker purple and kind of fill this one in here. Okay, let's go ahead and come back. This is our um, Parma Violet. And let's go ahead and come back and darken this up. Maybe this will end up being the darkest color we use because now that we can come back and we can add another layer and darken it up, it may be all that we need. You want to make sure you get in the areas behind where you have this other petal, like this petal is to the front of this petal. So make sure you have a sharp point and if you just kind of do this around the outer part of the petal, it will create that depth instantly. Look how cool that is. So anywhere that you see that, you want to come back and you want to create depth in just those areas. You guys know how I always do this or do this every once in a while. I decided I wanted to add more of my darker blue in certain areas. So I have my mono zero. And so like over here, I want to create a contrast in the color. So I'm just going over this with the Mono Zero Eraser and kind of taking some of that color out of there so that I could turn that area right there all blue so that it is contrasting with this petal here. And I think that'll look really cool. Let's see what happens when we do that. So let's just come in here with our light cerulean blue. And I am going to change this to blue and it looks really cool because there's still a little bit of purple in there and then we have that contrast between the two petals and I really like that and I think I'm going to do the same thing over here yeah I think that I, I like how that's going to look by having some of them uh, purple and then blue and purple and blue and so now I'm just trying to see what other areas I can do that. Let me come back with my uh, Parma Violet and I'm going to darken up some of these other areas just to create contrast here in between the different petals. Look at the difference that made.
Is that not so cool? So then over here, the one that's next to it, I'm gonna come back in with my Ceruline Blue, and I am going to go over this here and make this the darker blue. Oh, that looks so pretty. Okay, so then I'm gonna pull it through with my powder blue. See how I started with one idea, but then I changed my mind, and so I went back and I fixed it to make it look the way that I wanted it to look. And you can do that. Look at the difference it made. So I'm gonna come back with my Parma Violet, and I'm going to make this here even darker. When you start layering some of these colors with your Prismas, they will change the whole entire effect of what you're actually doing and the look of your flower. They're really pretty amazing. See how I just changed, it, changed the whole way that that looks right there? And then right in here, I'm seeing now that there is actually not a petal. So this, I guess, should remain white. So I probably, that is why this, this uh, eraser is so amazing because little tiny areas like this, you could really just get in there and take the color out. Look at that, how awesome it is. I had a little purple or purple and some blue in there and it just totally got rid of it. And I was able to get in that little teeny tiny area. I shared it yesterday in my Facebook group because so many of you see me using this eraser and you all keep asking me about this eraser and I saw that it had a coupon on it on Amazon. I don't know if when I post this video if the coupon will still be there, but there was a fabulous deal in this eraser yesterday. I think there was like an extra $1.80 off or something like that. Okay, so I'm coming back with my lilac and I'm pulling through a little bit of this purple. And then I think I want to come back with my powder blue and kind of pull this out. And I'm going to go ahead and go all the way to the tip. Oh, it's starting to come along now. Now that I kind of decided what I want to do with it. I think that this little petal right here, I think this needs a little bit of purple. And the paper in this book is absolutely wonderful. And so you can just keep putting these colors in. Like here it was blue, but I came in with my lilac and I just kind of went over the outside a little bit and I just created that very little bit of depth that I needed. And when you're doing this, make sure you not only have a sharp lead, but make sure that you're holding your pencil sideways. And I'm gonna come up here to the top of it, the top of the petal, and I'm gonna do the same thing up there. And then I think I want to come in with my Cerulean Blue and pull that through a little. And then my Parma and just kind of create the depth to make it look like that part of the petal is actually behind this petal here. To really make this one stand out, this little petal here that is shaped a little bit differently right in the center, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna come in with my darker blue, which is my ceruline, my light ceruline, and I'm just going to make this petal little bit darker and here where that leaf should look like it is coming to the front I am just going to make sure I really get in there with my sharp lead and I'm using a little bit harder pressure here when I do this and so now that I did that over here where I had purple I'm gonna come over or yeah I'm gonna come over here where I had the purple and I'm just going to try to pull this through with some blue. Now look how pretty that is. Okay, so I have my powder blue now. 
and I'm just coming through and kind of pulling all this through. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. I think I might need a darker blue. What do you all think? So I just picked a blue and I picked denim blue. It's PC 1101. So let me show you the difference in the value of the blues. This is our light cerulean, which we were using as our darkest blue before. And I want to really get a whole lot of depth. So I'm going to go that much up in the value of the colors. And this one is the PC1101, which is the denim blue. So let's go ahead and see how artsy we can make this look and how creative we can get. Okay, so I'm in frame. Let me scoot over just a little. And I am going to hold my pencil to the side. And I am going to come in here and I am going to darken this up. And I'm just going on the outside of the petal. Okay, so I did that one. That's beautiful. Look at the difference. So if I just go just right in there and I've changed the value of the color and went from that lighter blue to this much more bright, vibrant one. And I'm just adding a little bit of that in just to make things stand out much more and make it look like it is just kind of popping off the page. And I'm going to go and I'm just going to add this in the areas that I want it and I'm going to speed this up to music right now. So I'm going to come back like I always do with my next um, blue or my next lighter blue. That was my darker blue. <laughs> and I'm going to just pull that out. But see how you could still see that amount of depth there that was created? See how it just kind of spreads it out? I hope my camera is focused in enough so that you could see that. But it really just brings the whole look together by spreading the color. And now I kind of have purple and blue in each petal and it looks so pretty. But of course it's not done. You guys all know how I just color very slowly and I just keep going until I get the actual look that I want. And I don't stop changing things until I'm just completely satisfied with what I've created and the colors that I have put down on the paper. to do something and I'm gonna be a little daring here because this wasn't my initial idea but I think that I want to pull some of the hot pink that I used in this flower 
over here that I did the previous video on and I want to pull that into this flower to just try to bring balance to the page because I plan on there's another one of these flowers over here and then up here so I plan on doing all of those the same so since this flower that I already colored is way over here directly across the other side of the page I want that color to just kind of to be brought throughout the whole entire thing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hot pink which is PC993 and the tips the very tips of all the flowers I think I'm gonna go ahead and make those pink and then when I come out here and I do these little I don't know if they're petals or what they are but when I come out here and do these little like doodly things <laughs> curvy doodly things that are sticking out of the flower that are apparently part of the flower but um, I'm gonna come over here and I am going to do these purple and pink and I'm going to I think leave the blue completely out of them so let's go ahead and try that now and see what I come up with and I'm going to speed that up to music right now just what it needed now I'm going to come back with the denim blue and I am just going to create a little bit of depth in all of the petals with this color wait until you see what this actually does I'm going to speed this up to music again right now back and do these on the outside of the flower I'm going to come back in with my powder blue and I'm just going to go over all of these and just kind of blend the colors in try something a little bit different on those little petals to the outside and I pulled in now my deco pink which is also in the flower here off to the far right side and I am going to do these in lighter colors and then I'm going to put a little bit of darker colors in there just to kind of create the depth that I want so Let's go ahead and do the lighter blue to the bottom. And then we'll do the pink to the top. Now that I have 
have those colors just lay down, you can see that they look very flat. So I'm going to have to do something to just kind of give them a little bit of a pick-me-up or make them just kind of look like they're coming off the page and so that they're just not kind of laying there with no depth or anything to them. So I'm going to come in with my denim blue and I'm going to try to just create a little bit of depth so that they come a little bit more alive and I'm going to go ahead and do that to music now. Now I need to come back and add a little bit of hot pink to them so that they've got a little bit of contrast where the pink is. Now I'm going to come back with my deco pink and I'm just going to try to pull some of that out. And we'll see what we come up with. Notice I'm going into the blue too, just to kind of blend these colors together. You know, I'm thinking I might need something that is a little bit darker, like a darker pink. Maybe I'll bring in some of the mulberry and put it just at the tips. I don't know yet. No, I didn't do that one. This one ended up a little bit darker, which is fine. I didn't really want them to look like the other ones. I wanted them to look like a little bit different, but the area is so small. Let me go ahead and grab my mulberry. Okay, so I have my mulberry now. And that is the other color that was in that other flower. We've got so many flower so many colors now. And I am just going to come in to the tips of these and add more color. And again, my initial idea turned into something completely different. <laughs> That looks, I wouldn't do this one here. So that looks a little bit better. I'm going to go over it and pull it down with the hot pink just a little. And then I'm going to come back with my deco pink and pull it down even more. I don't think I did this one here. So I've got my mulberry. And I'm right in the tip of that petal. And then I'm just going to pull it in. I've decided now that I really love the way that the mulberry looks over here. I've decided to go ahead and add a little bit of mulberry to all the tips of every single petal just to kind of finish it off. And I think it's going to make a huge difference. So let's go ahead and do that now.
last thing I want to do to these, what are the, I guess we'll call them petals, but the last thing I want to do to these right here is I just want to kind of add a little bit of white to brighten them up and just create a little bit of highlights. Because remember, when I started these, I originally really wanted them to be light, but they're so thin that when I started applying the color, of course, because it's Prisma colors, it just kind of spreads, so they're really not light anymore. So I'm just kind of using this white so that we could brighten it back up again and add that highlight in there, which really makes a difference, I think. And then it really kind of separates them from the rest of the petals. And if you go over it with your white a few times, you'll see that the white really starts to show through. And it really does just lay down over the other colors, even on this paper. And there goes my lead. That's Prisma color for you, right? <laughs> but we still love them. <laughs> Blow the wax out of the way. But I think that that part is now done. And I really like how it looks. And I think that I'm going to speed it up right here. And I'm just going to color in this part here and show you what I'm going to actually do with this part. Because I'm going to bring the yellow from the flower that we already colored over here into this part of this flower so I'm gonna do that now we are gonna go ahead and color this part of the flower now and so the colors I have are the canary yellow I'm bringing in the canary yellow from the other flower that was over here and that is what is in the center here as well as some stickles and so like I always do I'm just gonna kind of bring them into the other area now and I've got my apple green, which is my PC912. That's when the, what's in the leaves on the other flower. And then I've got olive green. I don't think I've used, I've not used this one on this page yet, but I need something just to put a, a little bit here at the bottom and around the edges just to give it a little bit of depth. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up and do this to music right now. know how I am going to finish this off. I know those of you that have been following me for quite some time know what I'm going to do next, but I've got my stickles, and this one doesn't have a color on it. It looks just like the magenta, so I'm assuming it might be magenta, but we are going to add some glitter with our stickles to the top edges of all the flowers. And I'm going to go ahead and speed this up right now. can see them both together the both of the flowers that I've now colored on camera I probably will go continue with this page because I'm really enjoying this page and I know a lot of you found that um, 
deal that I had shared with you in my Facebook group for buy three coloring books for the price of two. And so a lot of you have gotten World of Flowers, and I know a lot of you already have it. So I think I'm going to continue with this page and just keep coloring the flowers on this page. And I'm going to use this kind of as a uh, Prismacolor combination video or series. And so if you guys follow along, you'll find a whole bunch more color combinations. So we've got the color combination for the flower. And this was a lot of pencils. So let me go over every all of the colors that we used in the flower. There were quite a bit. Okay, so I have my lilac and then my powder blue. And then remember I bought that brought that denim blue in to create more depth. And then I've got my light cerulean blue. And then Parma Violet and Deco Pink and Mulberry and then Hot Pink. So we've got lots of colors here. Oh, and then the bottom part here where we did the this part of the flower. And that was done with Olive Green, Apple Green, and one of my favorites, Canary Yellow, and the Canary Yellow was the same that we used in the center of this flower, and we kind of just brought it over here. Now, if you watch this video all the way through, you will see that I started with one idea, and then I changed my mind a million times through the whole entire process. And that's just kind of what you need to do, because you may be envisioning one thing in your head, and have something that you're seeing in your head, what you want on your paper. But as you start laying some of the colors down and such, you will see that like you might need to create more depth, you might need to add more shadows, you may need more highlights somewhere, you may not want highlights that are as deep. Like if you look at this flower, you'll see that I have some highlights in these areas. I kept these areas right in the center darker, but then over here on the outside where we had these, I guess their petals coming out and rounding, just on those right there, I wanted to keep them lighter. And since they didn't stay too light because they, they are just such a tiny intricate part of the flower, I came back in with my white and I just created more highlights in those areas where I wanted them. So what you're coloring will change over time. And I hope that this video showed you that. We are going to continue with this page, I believe. And I am going to keep coloring this. So if you are following along with these flowers, then stay with us. And these over here, I may do them to either a speed color on my channel. You'll have to let me know in the comments what you would like me to do. But I may do these in a speed color or I may come back and color them, but they are going to be very much the same as this flower since they are all the same kind of flower. So if you enjoyed this video, please do give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and also turn your bell notifications on so you always get notified every time I post a new tutorial, a coloring book flip through, a review on coloring supplies or what have you. And I am also now on Patreon, so if you'd like to, you can go support me over there. I hope you all have a fabulous day. Happy coloring. Bye.